Hi Libra, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for February 2019. This month I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Libra Sun, Libra Ascendant and Libra Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Libra, now on to your February 2019 Psychic Tarot reading. Libra, first card you have here today is the Ten of Rods. And the Ten of Rods is a card to me that symbolizes moving on to new and better horizons. You may feel overburdened or you have 10 rods of burden on your shoulder at the time, but those burdens are knowledge and experience you've gained that are gonna help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. I feel like you've been kind of figuring out how to play the game and it's been difficult. Now, I when I say that, I, my feeling is the game is possibly politics or, you know, uh, and it, this could be uh, playing politics or playing the game in whatever scenario it is. It doesn't just have to be at work. It could be in your family, family dynamics or any other group dynamics like groups of friends, social groups or any clubs or groups or organizations you belong to. But you're, it's like you're figuring out how to play the game. And I do feel like it, leading up to now, it's been challenging or a little difficult for you. Some of you are remembering things that you forgot about how to do something. It could be like uh, playing a musical instrument, putting something together, uh, something you used to study or do a long time ago that you put aside, uh, it could be connected to that. And some of you have seen or witnessed some things that have been challenging or difficult to you or upsetting to you. And you've had to assimilate this in your mind and figure out how you're going to move forward. Maybe you witnessed something because it comes up like witness something that was disturbing. Maybe you witnessed somebody being abusive to somebody else, or you witnessed somebody stealing something, or you witnessed a, a, an accident of some sort, or, you know, I don't know, but it's like you witnessed or saw something that was disturbing. It could have been at work. Maybe you saw people behaving like bullying people at work or, you know, family members treating each other badly. I don't know what it is because it's a general reading after all, Libra. So I can't say what that specific disturbing thing was for you, but uh, you are moving on from it. This card is showing you're moving on and you have had to figure out like how to compartmentalize it in your mind or how to assimilate it into how now you're going to move forward and what do you do, you know, where you're placing it in your daily scheme of life, in your head and all of that. If you're a Libra that feels like you haven't tackled enough or completed enough things or got everything, uh, you're, you're going to feel, it's also a feeling of having to, uh, like feeling pressured or wanting or the feeling of having to do more. Like, so if you feel like, wow, I didn't further my career more, I really need to get going on it. Or, wow, I kind of let my education slip and fall by the wayside. I should go back to school and get that degree. Or, wow, I took all those classes to learn how to do this or that particular thing. And then I just dropped the ball on it. So that energy is also coming up here with the Ten of Rods. Now, the next card you have is a good card, Libra. This is Ace of uh, Rods. Sorry, Ace of Rods. Ace of Rods is a card of new beginnings. This could be a new beginning in a, a new job, a new way of living, a new lifestyle, a new home, uh, birth of a child, new relationship, receiving an inheritance, uh, could be new beginning in you know, like the work you're doing. You could have a new start or a new beginning. You could be starting a new business. 
any of you that are on YouTube or out in the public, you are finally attracting followers. If you, if it was slow going, the, you know, if you're on social media in some way or out in the public eye and you want to garner followers and uh, attract public attention and opinion to you, this is happening. You're, you're gaining uh, followers. Some of you are actually going to be making a friend, a new friend. And some of you, this friend is actually going to be someone that you can really rely on and talk to and get, uh, you know, counsel from and help you uh, through tough, any tough times that ever come up. So this is like a reliable, uh, a reliable friend for some of you is going to be made. And you're going to be getting viewed in a popular and positive way. I see public opinion of you is high. Now, if you're like, well, I'm not out in the public eye. Well, if you go to work, people at your job, your public opinion of you at work with your coworkers or bosses are going to be high. If you're in groups or social endeavors like clubs, groups, organizations, whatever, public opinion of you is going to be high. Um, especially if you put yourself out there again, I'm going to go back to social media, YouTube, any other internet based thing your uh, public opinion of you and what you're doing saying you could be an artist maybe you're a a painter or you sing uh, or you play musical instrument or whatever maybe you do some other type of uh, thing that would attract people's attention the public opinion of you is going to be high and you know you do have some kind of uh, some opportunities may come up for you like fantastic opportunities out of the blue for some of you i do feel it could be a job opportunity uh or somebody gives you an opportunity to make a speech a presentation uh or plan some event uh, uh for some of you it's that kind of um opportunity that's going to come up for others of you it could be to join something like an elite club or a special group you could get an invitation to that the other thing that comes up here to me as well is you may get invited to something that you're really happy about like a big gala event a big party some noteworthy uh event that's invitations only an inv by invitation only not an event you can just walk up to or even a personal invitation from somebody like I said to a party or to go somewhere that that's something you're going to really want to do and see it could be an opera it could be a ballet it could be a rock concert it could be uh I don't know but you could get an invitation to things like that as well so getting invited also comes up here you have the four of pentacles next, and this is the miser card, often called the miser card. This is holding on protectively to your finances. It can also be holding on protectively to things of value. This card can also indicate financial success coming to you in the future. You could be worrying and thinking like money could really be on your mind in February 2019. I see many of you Libras like taking things out of boxes. And like looking at them, like this could be stuff you had in storage or in your basement or in your attic, or maybe you somehow inherited boxes of stuff and all of a sudden you got all these boxes to go through. Because I'm seeing you open up a lot of boxes and there's things of value mixed in here. You may have like a big yard sale or uh, take these things to like a... Um, like a flea market where you could rent a table and sell this stuff like that. You may sell it on eBay, but I see you taking things out of boxes that have some value and you're going to be selling them or thinking of ways to get rid of them. Watch out that you don't start to eat too much or overeat, especially people with Libra moon. Uh, because I pick up like overeating could happen here. I know that's a weird message to come up here, but my guides are going to tell me whatever you need to know, even if the card doesn't make sense that they're saying it through. But that comes up here with this card. So be cautious of overeating in February. You may also see notification in the mail 
that a foundation or something is defunct. So it could be like something that you had invested money in or that you contributed to or that you were connected to the foundation in some way because for some reason you're going to get a notification. So you have to be connected to this foundation and something that could be a charitable club, group, or organization. Uh, like I said, maybe you donated to it. Maybe you worked for it. Maybe you were involved in it. Um, but I see you getting some kind of notification about some foundation. And if it's not a foundation, it could be something else like a club, a group, or something that you... Uh, do business with or work with. Maybe this is, if you're a working Libra, this may be a company you do business with and you'll get, to, or they're a client to you or you're affiliated with them in some way and you're going to get some notification that it's going to close and it's defunct, it's over. So some of you will receive that message. Some of you that have been waiting to spend money on something in particular, um, I'm hearing you're going to stop stalling about getting it and you are going to spend it and actually, which is funny because this is the miser card, but so if there was something like you were waiting to purchase a home or you were waiting to purchase a special piece of technology or you were waiting to purchase, a, you know, something of, you know, a new camera or something of great value, uh, computer, whatever, home technology, home theater, uh, an Alexa, uh, is that what they're called? Alexa. Um, you're going to get off, jump off the fence and, and purchase it. So the next card you have here is probably you Libra. This is the King of Swords and this is an air sign person. This is either a Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarius. That could be their sun, moon or rising sign. You're like really going to be determined. Like I have to complete everything. I, I, I have to complete things I've started. I have to bring things to a finish, especially if you've been working on something. If been, you've been working on genealogy, a paper, uh, some uh, kind of estate or wills. Um, if you've been working on anything that's a project for school, uh, a report you have to write, sending out applications to go to college, um, I don't know, like uh, if you're in school and you have to write a thesis for your to get your doctorate or you have to complete a website to start a business or get your, you know, all your paperwork in order to file a adoption for a child, uh, get a dossier together, whatever it is, you are going to be really determined. Like I got to finish this. I got to complete it. So your determination and your will is going to be really strong in February 2019. You have suspicion, you have suspicion, Libra, that there's been someone, could be a group of people, you may feel like it's a few people, but it could be a, just a person that someone's undermined you behind your back. Like your suspicion of that is kicking up in February. I don't know whether it's true that they have or not, but your suspicions about it are kicking up. And you may seek legal counsel or some kind of other kind of advice um, because you may be unclear about how to proceed about something. So this could be like, you want to fi find out the letter of the law, like what is legal for me to do this or that? Maybe you want to file for divorce. Maybe you want to file some kind of complaint at, about somebody at work, um, or a boss or, you know, it may not even be legal uh, like you want to start a legal case, but you may want, you may want legal advice about something, or you may be seeking out advice from some other kind of professional. Maybe you want to list your house and you're like, I'm not sure if I want to do it. Let me just call a realtor and see what's entailed or well, what they have a, have a realtor walk through my property and tell me what do they think I need to change or do before I list it. I mean, anything, but like I get you seeking legal advice or advice of some kind before you proceed forward with something that you're viewing as important. It's not like you're just asking somebody who's, uh, you know, well, it could be, 
you could be somebody that's asking a friend advice like, hey, I want to ask this guy or girl out. What do you know about them and what do you think about it? Should I proceed forward? Or are they like, you know, woohoo, are they okay? Are they, you know, nice person or are they shifty? I, I don't know. But you that asking advice and it's for whatever the reason Libra it's important to you so you want that information so the last card you have here for February 2019 in this uh, rainbow tarot spread is the temperance card and this card often can be symbolic of patience it can you need to have patience in a situation possibly this card can also be the card of the alchemist um, it can also be like God uh, working through you in what you're doing, thinking, creating, or saying. You know, some of you are getting like this whole new outlook on life. And you want to leave some situation that you feel is unhealthy or you've grown tired of it or it's too uh, costly or it's just, it's boring to you. But there's some situation that you want to leave and you're getting really really pragmatic and i see you feeling like i want to sort through all these things and i want to get rid of them it could be papers and uh like stuff that you're like i don't use this anymore i got to get rid of it like getting uh you know like organ i see you wanting to be like organized and cut down on unnecessary spending and cutting down also on stuff like stuff around like I don't want all these things to be cluttering my environment that energy is here too for you you know another thing Libra I see you hearing so much gossip coming to you from other people about other people that you're wondering if they're doing that about you too I hear that you've overheard other people gossiping as well and I feel that this is kind of making you open your eyes or making you see that maybe some people that you are associating with or are around quite a lot, um, like what they're really like. Maybe you didn't think they were like that before, but I'm, I'm hearing you over here gossip. You may go through a little period of time of worryment that you may feel like, who do I trust? Uh, is there anybody I can trust? You may even get a little paranoid feeling like you may not be so sure that you can trust people around you the way you had once thought. Some of you are going to receive notification about a marriage proposal or somebody getting married. So I don't feel like this is a marriage proposal to you, although it could be. I feel it's more like you're going to hear that somebody's getting engaged or you're going to be getting a wedding invitation. That comes up here also for the month of February 2019. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get a continuation of this reading, Libra, where I look into my crystal and give you additional predictions and messages for the month of February 2019. You can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to those video, those Vimeo videos on demand page for the February 2019 Psychic Crystal Readings. You can also access these videos if you don't want to click on the link below. You can go to my website www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and then you will see all the video series I've been recording. Uh, there's many, many, many there. Lots to choose from and many are still active. It doesn't mean that it's only for one month. There's many series there. But you look for the series of videos that you want. Look for that heading and this would be the February 2019 Psychic Crystal Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. You click on your sign 
and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, if you have not checked out yet my January 2019 Eclipse Effects 2 deck Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the Zodiac, you might want to check them out because I was really, uh, they really made an impact on me when I was doing them. And I thought, wow, these have a lot of information in a 25 minute video. Each one is 25 minutes long about, and I have pulled nine cards in that video, three from the Aquarian tarot deck, six from the Osha Zen tarot deck, which is a very powerful tarot deck and gives a lot of very, very unique and interesting information. Um, and these predictions in those videos, these eclipses affect for six months. Now in those videos, even some of them went out past six months up to some cases, eight to nine months out, uh, and even further on some signs. So the predictions go pretty far. So if you want to check them out, that link is below this video and the, uh, links are also on my website on that same videos page. So I hope you have an absolutely fabulous and fantastic February Libra and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.